Welcome back to Trad Rod and Custom. I'm Oliver, and in today's video, we're going to be working on getting all the, the loose old wiring and everything off the firewall and the fender fenders. We're going to work on getting the front bumper off, and maybe by the end of the video, we'll have this thing ready to put primer on under the hood and the whole front end. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. Let's get into it. a painless wiring harness for this car so all the old wiring is just is just going in the garbage so this is a good time to just rip it all out it doesn't really matter about marking things saving things routing things um, I just want this thing to work I want it to work well so this is a project this is something I'm building for my dad I uh, gave it to him for Christmas uh, three years ago now and uh, it's just time. It's time to get this thing on the road. Time to get the paintwork done. We're not doing any kind of major show car here, but we do want to do nice, clean work. Um, definitely not half acid stuff, but we're also not going to go crazy. Get all the wiring off uh, and just start wire wheeling. We're going to put a wire wheel on a drill probably and just go through here and start knocking all the loose old paint off and getting this thing prepped for primer. Get the bumper off. Let's keep it moving. Some of our filler. This is the product we use for filler, by the way, if anybody's wondering. Seal skin. Good stuff. Using this sheet to try to keep all the dust off of our Fairly dusty looking Y block here. Pretty sure it's a 292. Triple deuce on it. Offenhauser intake. It's going to need some cleaning up and painting itself, but that's not the focus right now. Because we are rewiring this whole car, it makes it really easy to prep for painting under here because you can just cut all the wires and just shove them on through. Don't have to worry about saving anything or protecting anything. Just keep working our way around. Removing the old harness. Those painless harnesses are great. It's gonna be really nice.
have to cut out this side to match that side now. That's how the grill is going to fit back in, make it all work. So that's one thing we're going to have to do. We're also going to have to knock all this surface rust off of this. take the exhaust off and wire wheel the engine a little bit before we end up spraying our primer as well. This exhaust doesn't have to be on here. It takes up a lot of room in here that would be helpful for us prepping. And the reason it doesn't have to be on here is my buddy up in Washington, Scott, he's got a set of uh, Ram's Horn Police Interceptor dual exhaust manifolds for this that so we're gonna run on it. So we'll take this off and it'll just go on the shelf. Maybe a uh, country boy gas garage will break another one, he'll need some more. My bus uses a Y block just like this.
break any of these off, so we'll be nice and gentle with them. So far, everything feels really great. Yep. I haven't had anything hang up yet. Oh, yeah. I think all this exhaust has been off of here recently. I mean, recent, like, before I got the motor a couple years ago. out there probably saying you know Oliver if you put this motor in why didn't you prep and paint the engine compartment before you put it in so most guys with a brain would do well you'd be right at the time I put this motor in I had zero intention of painting this engine compartment didn't care had no thoughts to it just say you know what we're gonna paint the outside of the car make it make the thing go not worry about it let's just get it on the road and then as time went on i started thinking about it i said you know it's got a triple deuce on it it's a y block this is something that should be seen this should be a hood up at a car shows kind of rig so the plan changed a little bit back bolt on this side absolutely sucks to get at Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and label all our spark plug wires and pull them. Now on a Ford, as opposed to a Chevy, the plugs are wired 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So four on one side, four on the other side. Not staggered back and forth like a Chevy. I know that throws a lot of guys for a loop. It's really not that complicated. And it's been that way since before Chevy had a V8. Everybody says, oh, Chevys are more simple. It's like, well, what, because there's more of them? Because uh, Ford did it first.
got that fender completely ready we've got all of this scuffed and ready this is all good enough for what I'm doing um, remember we're just laying down primer to start with so if anything looks horrible we can go back and dress it and prime it again but uh, we're getting there we're getting there I got this fender left to do this fender is ugly and I'll tell you, I, I really wanted to get us in this video to where um, where we're going to have primer on this thing. And I just don't, I don't think I have the time to do that. Um, I've been thinking about, you know, pulling the YouTube remove and, and pretending like this one was done. And then starting to spray primer on the engine bay on that side just to make the video look good. But I don't, I, I don't really want to do that. I want to just do it right. Um. We'll see what I can do. I think off camera what I'm going to do is try to get this fender stripped down. And if I'm able to do that today, uh, we'll, we'll see about spraying some primer at the end of this video. But otherwise, I think this is going to kind of be it. Um, but of course, I'll be editing this out if that's not the case. So let's we'll see what I can get done in a short while here. As you can see, made a lot of progress, got a big old patch I got to make down there, got to weld up those mount holes for the, uh, the badge, and probably should do a round of filler. That uh, Bauer SCT is no joke, that thing mowed right through this panel great but like I was saying before it's just not enough time before I have to upload this video um, I gotta make that patch I probably should go over this and find little low spots if there's any and put a little filler in smooth it out before I put my primer down uh, but anyway I appreciate you guys watching in the next video I was going to do it on the Roadster. I know a bunch of you guys are really interested. I got the Roadster running. But uh, in the next video, I'm going to finish up what we're doing here. So it might be a short video. It might be a midweek short video, 10 minutes or something. But uh, I'll go ahead and make the patch, weld that in. I'll show you guys how I do that. And we'll get this thing cleaned up. We'll get it finished up and ready. And then spray some primer. But. Uh, it's a lot of work, and I know it's not that much fun to watch. I did some sped up, sped up uh, time lapses there, and uh, hope you guys are digging it. Hope you're enjoying the content. Um, I'm not trying to show you guys the best way to do body work by any means. I'm trying to show you guys what you can do in a carport with a few tools and just a little effort. Um, I think the end result is going to be pretty cool on this car. But, uh, see, I, I have a tendency to be a little too ambitious as to what I can get done in a, in a 20, 30 minute video. Um, and I just, I got five kids and a wife and soccer practice to take my seven year old to, and uh, I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. So I try to squeeze this stuff in when I can. And I really appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Been get channel's been growing. We're headed on towards a thousand. That'd be really cool when we break a thousand. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys. So ways you can help out, the buy me a coffee link is always in the description. If you want to contribute to parts, sandpaper, materials, stuff like that, it helps. I'm I'm broke dad. I got to pay bills and keep the lights on and can't can't throw all my money at this kind of stuff. So. That would help if you guys want to contribute. Uh, hitting that thumbs up helps. And subscribing if you're not subscribed, that helps a lot. But uh, 
Anyway, appreciate you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.